For the very latest, we can cross over to France 24's Europe editor, Armin Georgian, who's following the events in Strasbourg for us. Uh, Armin, the heads of the parliament's various political groups have been meeting. Can you walk us through what's on the agenda for today? Yes, absolutely. So uh, you have, of course, different political groups in the European Parliament, and each of those groups has a president. Uh, they have met this Tuesday morning, and they have all agreed to hold a vote at 12 o'clock uh, Central European time on stripping Eva Kaili of her role as one of the vice presidents of the European Parliament. Now, just to break this down, because it can be a bit confusing, uh, we heard earlier, Roberta Mazzola, the head of the European Parliament, saying that she had decided to take action uh, to strip Eva Kaili of her role as vice president. Um, she has certain rights as the president of the European Parliament to do that, but then the Parliament as a whole has to hold a vote as well, and that is what is expected to happen around a midday today. Um, again, don't forget, this, this, what's happening today is a purely political process. When it comes to uh, Eva Kaili uh, being an, uh, an MEP, that is not something that uh, can be taken away from her right now. And of course, uh, her immunity is also not something that the European Parliament can take away. That is really up to uh, uh, the judicial system, to a judge, to decide as and when uh, this, uh, this probe uh, continues to, uh, to, uh, to discover new things in the coming days. And Armin, speaking of that probe, we know police in Brussels searched Parliament headquarters there on Monday. Uh, what more do we know about the state of that investigation? Well, indeed, the, that was uh, uh, investigating uh, authorities in, in Belgium uh, who uh, carried out 20 operations, as a result of which four people were remanded in custody uh, over the weekend. And we know that tomorrow, so on Wednesday, uh, those four people are expected to appear before a court in Brussels, uh, in the Belgian capital, which will decide whether to extend uh, that custody or not. So at the moment, we can't really say more than that about the investigation. We don't know if other people are involved, but clearly there is an attempt here in Strasbourg, where the parliament is meeting today, to sort of draw a line under this as quickly as possible, because as Roberta Mitzola said, this is something that is uh, 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 potentially uh, very harmful to uh, the image uh, of the European Parliament. And of course, the scandal has been seized on by populists and Eurosceptics around the EU as, a, uh, as, as evidence, really, for them of the hypocrisy of the European Union, which likes to criticize corruption uh, in other quarters but doesn't look at itself. So this is a, a very big deal for the European Parliament, and they're going to be Making, taking various uh, steps uh, today to try to address that. All right, Armin, thank you so much for that update from the EU Parliament in Strasbourg. Uh, that's France 24's Europe editor, Armin Georgian.